Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we are going to be doing another Cinema Blend article discussion. Today's Cinema Blend article discussion is on the Christopher Nolan reveals the advantage his Dark Knight trilogy had over recent superhero movies. This was from a couple days ago at 12.58 p.m. Okay, so superhero movies are the biggest films in the industry right now. Beyond question. While movies in general might be at a standstill, the projects that most people are looking for are still the late entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Then to the next entry from DC. And even though we're seeing delays in these films being released, all it means is we're getting a backlog of superhero movies, at least for now. And as new entries in the main Marvel and DC franchises are still in production, it's become a near assembly line of heroes. Which is why Christopher Nolan thinks his Batman movies had it much easier. Okay. The director of these three Batman movies, Christopher Nolan, recently spoke in New York in support of the new book, The Nolan Variations by Tom Shore. As one might expect, Nolan's Batman trilogy is still incredibly popular. It was a big part of that conversation, and among the director's other comments, he explained via source from IndieWire that there were two things his trilogy had which were major advantages. One was a significant amount of creative freedom as Nolan was approaching the Batman story in a unique way. And the second advantage was the ability to take his time as Nolan explained in the first place. Okay, so in quote, he says, the other advantage we had was back then you could take more time between sequels. When we did Batman Begins, we didn't know we'd do one, and it took three years to do it. And then four years before the next one, we had a luxury of a time. It didn't feel like machines, an engine of commerce for a studio. As the genre becomes so successful, these pressures become greater and greater. It was the right time. Okay. So while the superhero movie genre has never really been unpopular, it was really only with the launching of Marvel's and Mac Universe that superhero stories became so omnipresent. We now usually see superhero movies every single year and even within an individual character franchise. It's rarely more than a couple of years in between Avengers. However, Christopher Nolan says that there was no pressure to produce movies that fast for him. And he understands that as things currently stand, if he were making his Batman movies again now, that wouldn't be the case. Okay. And he's probably right about that too. While we don't know what Warner Brothers has planned for the new Batman exactly, assuming that the movie is a success, and you have to believe that sequels will be more greenlit much faster this time around, Robert Pattinson's contract to play the role likely includes multiple appearances, especially considering the fact 
that studios have basically been dormant for a year with no major releases, there will likely be that much more of a push to get big tentpole movies out as quickly as possible once that option is available again. So there you go guys, that is a little bit of information from the opinion of Christopher Nolan, the director of the Dark Knight Trilogy. So if you guys like this content, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave comments. And you guys have a nice day. Bye.